doing a brief word from hockey fans um, from Ottawa Senator country here. You know, because uh, Ottawa is the capital of Canada, and um, this is a very political segment tonight. Senators, as they you know, got the helmet, and it's a little bit martial looking, you know, Habs fans are just all about hockey, 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 hockey. But this is politics, politics and money here, people. I'm wearing this uh, Team Canada shirt, but really I should have put on my X-Files shirt. Because this is all like, you know, conspiracy work and, you know, what goes on behind the closed doors of the NHL. Uh, in the owners' meetings with Gary Bettman. I was doing a little bit of reading. Because... Um, Thanks to these videos coming out, people from other cities other than my own are asking me stuff. So I'm going around and I'm, you know, like reading newspapers from Chicago and Boston, Toronto, you know, freaking Detroit, freaking good hockey cities getting their take on what's going on. I was reading this article from the Toronto Star and they were talking about how within the owners club, you know, there's more moderate owners who are maybe not quite so, you know, pro-strike. You know, these are owners who are like, you know, Toronto and Montreal <clears throat> and New York. You know, teams that really want to get back on the ice. And then there's other owners who are a little bit more hardline and are willing to stick out, get the extra money, and not really have hockey. One fact that uh, I was freaking shocked to hear about was that um, for Gary Bettman to veto an agreement among the owners, he only needs eight, count them, eight NHL owners to back him for him to veto something. And a fully democratic and, you know, Canadian or... U.S., you know, kind of like democratic sort of way. 75% of the NHL, you know, wants to go back to playing. And uh, and all Gary Bettman needs to hold out for more money is for, like, eight owners to back him and be like, vetoed. That's like, you know, U.N. Security Council, you know, like, the U.S. and Britain, you know, they're talking about, blah, 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 you know, blah, 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 politics, blah, 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 free speech, blah, blah, blah. And then for China to be like, fuck you, screw you, no. That's what it feels like. Also, interesting little fact that I picked up uh, from the star is um, Gary Bettman's been in charge for around 20 years now. And one of the first people to to talk out, to talk anti Batman, was everybody's good old friend Wayne Gretzky. So yeah, go Wayne. We all love you up here in Canada, Wayne. Um, and uh, they love you down in the states. Lot of Wayne Gretzky fans in Los Angeles. Everybody in Canada. Everybody. Still. I know you're tired, but there's many Canadian teams that'd be like, yep, yep, yep. Give me Wayne Gretzky back. That's fine. We'll take him. Boys got skills. Bring him back. I'll take him. Eight NHL owners is all it takes to veto hockey. Eight people in a room are stopping hockey. Um, in other NHL news, Gary Bettman has the ability to fine owners who talk out against NHL progress. Find them. So is that kind of like, a, you know, is it like the New York Rangers? You know, finding, you know, like Avery maybe. If Avery was like, screw Everybody. The New York Rangers would be like, thousand dollar fine. Shut up, Avery. But uh, no, no, apparently Batman can find owners. How much can he find them? Million dollars. One million dollars. Maybe more. So if you if you're a hockey fan of of a team 
whose owner hasn't really publicly said anything about the strike yet. Maybe it's not because your owner is um, not behind the team. Maybe it's just because they can't afford to say anything. So don't trash your owners, hockey fans. They might be sitting there in that conference room working for the fans, just not allowed to say it because of Mr. Bettman holding, you know, holding them by their money balls. It's very sad that uh, the NHL owners are denied Canadian and American free speech. The business world trumps free speech, people. It's disgusting. So, what I advise all of you owners to do <clears throat> is take out a Twitter account. So, you know, we can call it, um, like, you know, Jeff Not Molson. You know, so he's got some deniability. And, uh, you know, he can be like, fuck Gary Batman, fuck him. Or, you know, like uh, other owners, like, you know, James, not actually Dolan. So he's got some deniability where he can be like, fuck Batman, fuck him. Um, and then all of, you know, the great hockey fans across, you know, my great nation and the great hockey-loving nation below us, the U.S., um, can tweet the fucking sh can retweet that shit. Be like, <laughs> my owner's cool. Look into that. Could work for you. What's Gary Bettman going to do? Drag you into court and be like, yeah, so um, my evidence for your anti-NHL activities is Twitter. The judge is going to be like, Twitter? Bye-bye. <laughs> You're ejected from court. I know lots of hockey players are doing it that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. NHL goalies are still standing up and uh, talking strong anti-lockout views. Um, another one, my very own Carey Price, apparently has some pretty strong views on the subject. I've heard from uh, people who are close in the know to him, but I did a little bit of searching around, and the stuff on the net really wasn't evident. So, a um, little shout-out to Carey Price. Um, link this stuff to me. I would love to read it. Um, I will talk about your... your uh, your views. I think it's great. Montreal fans want to hear what Carey Price has to say about this lockout. So yeah, you know, like, uh, send me a tweet. Yes. Send me a Facebook message, you know, YouTube something. We want to hear you, Carey. Bring PK along. I'll have a nice little Habs anti-Betman party. Be fun. We'll drink some Molson. Be cool. Okay, that's it. Have a good day, guys. Bye, YouTube.